Hello and welcome to the sixth level of Tomb Raider Remastered, which I'll be doing a playthrough now, and this is the Colosseum. One of my bizarre pronunciations when I first thought saw this level, when I skipped through them and found this one, I thought it was Colossum. Oh, some sort of big thing. I don't know. I don't know why I didn't just see it as a Coliseum. Yeah, this is getting less and less likely. I don't know how far down we are now, but there's still holes to the sky. Um, this is the first of two Coliseums we have in Tomb Raider, the second one in Chronicles. Uh, that one's the famous one in... Rome. This is one the Romans will have built in Greece. While they were ruling most of Europe. Mr. Lion, and yeah, that's Mr. Lion this time. I can't believe I only noticed when I was playing St. Francis Folly that there are actually lions and lionesses. And these are both male ones. Is it? Maybe they just. Maybe they weren't both in the original graphics. Oh no, there is an attempt at a main there. I'm not sure how successful it is. And this is the outer wall of the Colosseum here. I'm not really sure... I mean, this is a Colosseum under a monastery. It feels a bit odd. I mean, again, we've got openings in the air. It sort of feels like going through St Francis's Folly was maybe a bit of a waste of time. If you can just parachute in here. As with the previous level, the, the upgrade in the graphics is very slightly less impressive, I think. Which is more similar, but again, it's wonderful to have it not pixelated. Am I right in thinking there's a lion comes bounding around here? No, I made that up. So, yeah, this is... I mean, I'm assuming this is kind of a... I don't really know, actually. It's a kind of a lost coliseum that's half enclosed in a cave. Not sure what the story is here. Again, I'm trying to apply maybe more modern gaming standards to something from 1996. Is this where the lion is? No. Where did I get this idea that there's a lion up on one of these walkways? If a lion appears behind me now I'm going to be very annoyed. Yeah, the there's not that much logic to the uh, to the story, which yeah, it's fair enough. It was designed in 1996. That was a bad jump. Now over here we have a cave, a little opening there, and that's where the first secret is. And I know it involves a couple of sl well, a couple of very sort of precise jumps to get there. There we go. Again, I wouldn't like to think what that's like on modern controls. But I am not putting myself through that to find out. Ah, 
Now, can you actually get up? Because when I did that, I used to just go down to the floor and climb all the way back up again. But I just realised you might actually be able to go back. Uh, maybe. Yes, you can actually get straight back up here. Well, there we go. There's a small part of my childhood wasted reclimbing the outside of the building. Crocodile pit. In which two crocodiles have spent many years just on their own waiting for Lara to turn up, I think. There is something really creepy about the crocs in this. They're, there's something about the way they move. I don't know what it is. It's just. It's, I think it's just because they're so fast. And they sort of wriggle around. And also when they die, they do that hot. Oh wow. Oh, that's the first time I had a proper close up look. They've got proper kind of scales and everything. That might actually be my favourite creature redesign so far. Wow. And just popped into their pit to get the medikit. You can completely ignore the crocodiles, I think, if you don't want that medipack. But even though I'm not going for all pickups, I'm trying to get as much as I can. Now the second secret is in here, I think. That is a bizarre noise Laura's making there. And I've got to be honest, this is one of possibly the most obvious easy secret outside of Peru, possibly even outside of caves. Like that is not exactly hidden. I know there's a much trickier one coming later in the level so I'm appreciating the ease of that There is there nothing whatsoever. Right, quick save and into the actual Colosseum, and we have plenty of animals. I mean, here it kind of I suppose it makes sense that we have certainly the lions. The lions were used for games in colosseums to fight against I don't know, Christians or whoever the Romans were not very fond of this week. Pierre, in his first appearance in this level, I don't know how he got through when I mean, he got into this colosseum before we did. And uh, yet, Lara was the first one to get through the door. Uh, what's this switch? I don't even remember this. Oh, this just takes you back out to the start again, and there's a lion. Yeah, I remember now. I don't think there's much. Is there maybe a pickup? Or what's at this end? Nothing. Nope, so that is effectively a complete waste of time. <laughs> I suppose touch of added realism that you are opening up the uh, 
the actual entrance gate to the Colosseum. Now I'm going to try and take this in now because we are in the open air. Which is much like Lost Valley, a major change from the original. Um. Right, so that doesn't actually, there's no roof is there? So is this another one where it was meant to be open and it was for night? As opposed to the sunset here. Yeah, okay, I can forgive that. I think it might have been intended that that was uh, originally meant to be outdoors. Although, again, it just feels a bit of a waste going through St Francis Folly when there's this huge outdoor um, coliseum here, which is a, surely a much easier entrance. Where are we? South. Oh, there's loads of different little rooms in here. I'm trying to remember. One of them has a secret. But I cannot remember which one it is. I'm sure it'll make sense when I finally get to it. Sorry, that noise. My bed is the creakiest bed in the world. Yeah, I think it's this one. I think I have it in my head that it's the northwest one. Although. Maybe not. I'm not sure. This doesn't look like the comfiest set of seats. I mean, that's kind of what these are meant to be, isn't it? Right, anyway, I'll leave all that for now and down into the Coliseum itself. Trying to remember the order in which everything's done here. Yeah, I really need to pay attention to this health bar, don't I? Alright, I'm going in with the shotgun this time. There we go. Sorry lions, but uh, I'm not having any of that. Now, I know there are two or three rooms that are all quite similar here, so I've got to remember which is which. I think that might be all we do in here. These look like they are the cells that the, the people forced to fight would be locked in before they were sent out to be mauled by lions. Where did that come from? Oh, up here. It 
Right, stop growling and let me shoot you. Oh, that's long gone now. Uh, oh no, it's not. Hello, mate. Ambushed by three lions. Unfortunately for them, two shots for the shotgun and they're dead. Or sometimes three. I'm pretty sure the shotgun works better close up, so it's possible to end up needing to use more. Uh, this is, oh, this is the one with the pressure pads, okay. This is an awkward, timed, nasty little git of a room. And I can never remember the sequence. So I'm going to save this and see what happens. Ignore the pickup. Ah. For some reason, she's not prepping switches very uh, much at the minute. See, what I've done there is I've done everything, pressed every switch, and ended up in exactly the same situation. I can never remember exactly what happens. Maybe it's this one first. Fairly sure I need to open that gate in here. Hmm. <coughs> so what does this do? Is it... No, I'm totally flummoxed. So we've got, does that open both? Uh, maybe the, maybe what the pressure pads in here do is actually close things and they are actually a trap. There we go, that's it. Now that's how we open that one there. It's always important to remember that there are sometimes things that look helpful in Tomb Raider and really aren't. And all that just to open one door. Again, you know, in some sort of tomb where there's a treasure, fair enough, but in a coliseum? Can you just imagine the Romans getting together saying, OK, what we need to do now is just let some of these... Christians out into the Colosseum. Like, All right, well, you go over there and stand on that pad, and I'll open this switch here. And... It just doesn't really hold up, does it? Go ahead, which way? Straight ahead. I have very fond memories of this one, actually. This is one of the. I think this is one of the few levels where I didn't use a walkthrough very much 
I'm sure I did a little bit because there's certain bits, probably like that last room there actually. There are little bits that I was just like, no, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. But I remember working a lot of this level out myself. So even though in some ways, like gameplay wise, it's probably not the most memorable level in the game. It's got, it's probably got less going for it than the, the levels either side. And visually these Greek levels aren't my favourites despite this looking pretty impressive. Looking pretty impressive now. But yeah, visually they're not my favourites either. So it's the sort of level that would normally be kind of forgettable to me. But actually because of because I managed to do a lot of it via exploring my like the level myself, I have a real fondness for this one. Sorry, monkey boy. It's one that I did a lot of exploring in, I think because you've got that kind of... You've got the hub where you kind of keep going back to it and then heading off to a different room and one area allows you access to another and stuff. And that kind of level... That's the kind of level that invites the most exploration, I think. I think linear ones... I have a real fondness for a lot of linear levels, actually. Some people really dislike them, but I'm very fond of them. But they do... Is that... I can't remember when we opened that. Um, yeah, they, they do benefit least from the exploration, I think. And the ones with the puzzle rooms. Yeah, four rooms, four keys, like... St Francis Folly and like many others um, they, they're they almost kind of linear in a non-linear way even though that makes no sense whatsoever um, but these ones where you have a hub like this and there's no real there's no sign of like what order you do things in where you need to go first you have to work that out entirely for yourself um, yeah, they're the best when it comes to exploring, and I just really, really enjoy that, I suppose. Now, which one of these rooms did I just open a door in? It's probably the furthest one away, no, my luck. I say my luck, it's the same for everyone, but... Uh, never turned down an opportunity for self-deprecation. What would be amazing is if the sky actually changed, so you kind of you went from day into night because obviously it's evening at the minute, and uh, we're not going to get to night. That's always ominous when a gate closes behind you. So. Oh dear, I'm gonna die. Oh no, I'm not. It's always nice when you think you're going to die and you don't. Not got spikes or anything down here, have we? No. Yes, yeah, so I know it was ominous when that gate shut, and I just for some reason forgot that I had a boulder coming after me. Let's just give it a quick save now. I've accidentally escaped death. Now, where are we? We'll switch there. I'd better pull that because that's a slidey bit. I'm assuming this is going to open the door in another one of these little ante rooms. Yep. Some really lovely textures here. On these kind of original, I mean, the, the floor and the walls and the ceiling, they're all identical here, aren't they? They're just a kind of general 
sandy, planty type thing, but there's a lot gone into these. Right, so I now have to go all the way back. I think this is the one right at the other end of the... Oh, bloody Pierre's back. Come on, Mr Lion, can't you kill Pierre? Usually, if you end up just ignoring Pierre, it gives him an opportunity to disappear. Yeah, there he goes. Shoot him a handful of times and then just let him go. Uh, oh, no, it's not this one. Brilliant. Yeah, I think I've said in one of the earlier levels they were planning on having Larson do the same in... Uh, in Peru, which wouldn't have made any sense whatsoever, because obviously, you know, if he can get through all everything himself, then what would be the point in even sending Lara? Now, am I right in thinking there is a secret in here? I can never remember exactly what it is. That is a fairly nasty series of jumps if you don't know what you're doing. And... Ooh, have I just got my magnums? There we go, I've barely even used a shotgun at this point. But that's fine. I think once you've got everything here and head towards the door, it should open. There we go. I think that's one of those doors that I looked at for ages and I was like, I haven't the faintest idea how to open that. I'd explore the whole level, but it's literally just timed jumps by standing on the floor. Another one of those incredibly sneaky little secrets that you, I don't believe it, I've actually just died. <laughs> it's another one of those secrets you are never going to get until you've explored the level numerous times. Oh, I might have messed this up. Yeah. And yeah, as you can see, it's a very tight bit of timing. And yeah, that's wrong as well. I'm definitely not saving enough. There we go. So now that's all done, I'm actually going to save it so I don't end up dying. But yeah, it's a very, very tight, good times, sneaky little secret that no one's going to get on first play. I suppose it's things like that that give the game its replayability. Like, there's so much to kind of do and explore beyond the basic level itself.
And into the third one of these water. Where did this go? Yeah, that opens that door there. And where does this come out? Does this come out actually in that bit? I don't know, I strangely enough don't have a memory of this bit of water at all, despite like I was saying, having explored this level so much, I feel like I know it really well. So where do we come out here? That looks like a pressure pad. Yeah, I don't remember this. Ah, oh, it's not a pressure pad. It's a key. Of course it is. For some reason I thought this was going to take me out somewhere, but no, it's just getting the key, which I think opens the end of the level. we get any more Pierre, although we do have another gorilla. Oh, what's going on here? This might just be spikes, actually. That is definitely just spikes. So, where am I going? <coughs> oh yeah, that's right. So I'm going to wait my way back up to the balcony and then through to the very end of the level. I mean, the spikes definitely look less 2D now. <laughs> There's something appealing about the the garishness of the blood on the originals, though, which isn't remotely blood coloured, but they look a lot more horrible. Very windy in Greece at the minute. I mean, it kind of made sense in St. Francis Valley because you're at the very top of that outcrop of rock, but here, you know, it's meant to be quite low down, but it's just as windy apparently. When I first found this balcony section, I was convinced that this was the exit the level exit because you know it kind of looks like it. it's two big grand doors now bizarrely that door isn't even a door because there's just rock behind it which is strange but I had no idea that this would be the exit here I swear I just heard a gorilla I did. Where on earth is it? Hello? Monkey boy. I'm really confused. Okay, it's making noises, it's beating its chest. 
it's nowhere to be seen. Oh, it's out here. Now, why are you out here when... When I... Oh, wow, there's two of them. That's really weird. I had no idea these came about. I mean, there's nothing else to do out there, is there? So... How strange. Rusty key. <laughs> Rusty gate by the sounds of it. Oh, that's quite a redesign, isn't it? They... I don't know, I think they actually look more comfy the way they were. I suppose it's less angular now, but that looks like it's made of stone or something. Although I suppose it would have been, wouldn't it? Right. Into the water. And avoid the crocodile at all costs. I am not going for all kills, so I am definitely going to avoid that croc. And I think that opens the end gate. There it is. What's in these? Absolutely nothing. And off we go then. This will have a current that really takes me fast down there. Bye bye Mr. Crocodile. Half an hour, so that took only slightly less than St. Francis Folly. Felt like a much shorter level. Uh, three three secrets and twelve pickups, so I missed two. So I'm still getting most, which is fine. I'm not bothered about being completist there. Yeah, it was really fun revisiting that level. Like I say, I have really fond memories of that one. Kind of, it's one of the first that I properly explored for myself. And it's one that I just, yeah, I really remember spending hours doing. Just looking around that whole Coliseum area. Anyway, so I enjoyed playing that. I uh, hope you enjoyed my Let's Play. And please like, comment, subscribe, share, do whatever you like. And I'll be back soon with Palace Midas.